Hello folks, tonight I'm going after the fish head nebula and I, I did this before maybe about a month or so ago with my SCT but I, I think I can possibly do it a little sharper with this new refractor. I'm really liking this refractor and I want to capture a good image really sharp so, so I can put it on canvas and hang it on my wall. My canvases lately have been looted. My sister took a couple of them. My nephew took one, so I'm going to... I need more. <laughs> but anyway, for now I'm going to be capturing HA, three-minute exposures like I always do. Um, after I stack a few, I'll determine whether I need three hours or four hours worth. Uh, the mean readout right now is 5.62. And uh, let's take a look at one raw image. Okay, um, it's looking uh, pretty good for a, a single raw image. The thing is, the winds are over 10 miles an hour right now, and gusts are coming in. And if I can keep the stars looking round, like uh, they seem pretty good after three minute exposures right now, that's good. I'll take it because it, it's there's some gusty stuff going on out there. And uh, let, let's take a look at my guiding and see how that's holding up. 0.9, but I just did a dither. Let's let's reset this this right now, and and see how it looks. Uh, 0.69, 0 0.64, 0.62, 0.57. That's pretty good. If you had seen what the the wind is like, it it's pretty bad out there. So I'm happy with that. And hopefully I won't have to throw away too many images. You never know if a big gust is going to knock it too far off. All right. So um, I'll see you later. But hey, I'm just checking in on my guiding again. It looks like the gusts have settled down, and my guiding is now coming in at around 0.46. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, I expect it to just hang around there the rest of the night. It's supposed to be clear, so... We'll see how it goes. Oh, good, even lower, 0.44 or 0.47. My eyes aren't that good. Okay, I'll see you okay. later. Okay, so after two nights of capturing data, I managed to capture about four hours each of oxygen, sulfur, and HA. And I think I needed a lot more data, but, you know, I, I get bored with an object after a while, and I like to start something new, so I'm calling it quits on the fish head, but... Uh, let me show you something else. You know, I'm always looking at top picks to see the, the latest cool pictures on Astrobin. And I noticed, uh, since my last video, I have two more images that made it into the top picks. My Pac-Man Nebula. And, uh, let's see. Which you've already seen. I don't know why I clicked on it just now, because this website is kind of slow. So that one, and... Um, my bubble nebula, which I I captured, I think, over a month ago, but I did some reprocessing on it to um, remove some of that yellowish around the bubble and made it more goldish. And let's see. And that's my new bubble nebula, and apparently they, they liked it on Astrobit enough to move it into the top pick section. Now... Whether or not these will make it the image of the day, I don't know, but I'm, I'm starting to feel like Creedence Clearwater Revival. They had five number two songs, but never had a number one. I want at least one image of the day. That's all. Just give me one, and I'll, I'll stop worrying about this stuff. My friend Doug has one now, so I want one. I gotta, gotta keep up with Doug. You know, gotta keep up with the Joneses. All right, uh, let's go back to the... Uh, the fish head nebula. So this is my HA data. Uh, like I said, I think this is about um, four hours of data there. And uh, my oxygen, which I always have brightness around the original image, but you know, after I do a background extraction, it, it looks better. And my sulfur. Now I think sulfur and Oxygen really don't have a lot of data, and like I said before, when you don't have a lot of data, it is a struggle to process, and I, I spent a couple hours going back and forth trying to do anything I could 
to, to, to amplify this data and make it look halfway decent. And this is what I came up with. That's my final image. And I think I did the best I could with the data I had. Uh, I, I don't want to work on it anymore. I'm tired of it. Um, but that's that. I put it on AstroBit. And here's the one I captured with my SET. Uh, this was about a month ago with my SET. And I think the one on the, the left is probably, um, I think it's a, a lot more crisp, a little more sharper. I don't know if it's as vibrant, but that was the choice I made. I didn't go with the deeper blue and the deeper gold or red there. But I think this one, even though it's narrow band, it's the Hubble palette is false color anyway, but I still think the one on the, the left did come out more natural looking. So the one on the left is, that's the one I'm going to put on a canvas. So anyway, that's all I've got to share, everyone. Uh, thanks for listening. And I don't know what I'm going to capture next, but it seems like we're on another roll with clear skies. That means a lot less sleep for me. See you later.